All right, welcome to all of my new subscribers. If you have any questions or comments, please send me a private message. I'll try my best to answer your questions. Word of warning, though, I'm no expert. I may not always know the answer that you're looking for, but I'll at least try and point you in the right direction. Okay, with that out of the way, let's have a look today at Black Panther OS. I've had a lot of requests for this. I'm sorry I haven't been able to uh, release a review on this sooner. My job and all my volunteer work and everything else that's happening in my life has prevented me from releasing as many videos as I would like to. Uh, something else, um, tomorrow I'm going to be having the Linux Zoo Crew. I will have links in the show notes below so that everybody can discuss all things Ubuntu. As everybody knows, this week Ubuntu has released a number of different flavors, and I'm going to try and look at a few of them here on the show as well. I've got a little bit of free time to throw at you guys, so I'm going to throw some videos together and all that good stuff. So, Black Panther OS right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Alright, let's begin. Well, here it is, Black Panther OS. And uh, I'll tell you what, there are so many ways I've seen KDE set up, and uh, this is my first impression of it. Uh, I really think that they did a nice job on this. I love these little widgets that it has in the upper right corner of the screen. You have your calendar and everything, and then right here, you can you have the weather. And you can right-click on this, you can go into yet another... Uh, WP settings here and then of course you can name the city that sort of thing it's powered by AccuWeather gives you uh, the uh, current and then of course it also gives you uh, your forecast kind of neat let me cancel that out and then of course you have other options in the upper right corner of the screen for adding activities widgets and all that other nice stuff okay and then on the lower right hand side of the screen you do have a battery monitor you do have uh, your devices a volume control, your clipboard contents, your uh, network interface, and then important notifications will appear here. You have two desktops by default to choose from, and then of course you have a lock screen and power preferences button. Now interesting enough, this menu uses something a little bit different. It is called Lancelot Launcher looks pretty cool. Let me show this to you. So when you click the little orb here, you will see that you're presented with this uh, dialog for accessing documents, contacts, your computer, and then of course applications. All right, and then under applications, there are a number of applications that you have installed on this distribution. And you get um, quite a bit of them. I'm not going to sit here and read through all of them, but there are a number of uh, internet applications. Let me click on Office here. Maybe I have to back up. Or it's, you know, that's the thing about KDE. In a virtual machine, KDE does tend to be a little bit slow. Okay, now you get a black Panther Office with this, and this looks like this is an OpenOffice.org variant. At least from what I can see with the little birds, I'm guessing that's what it is with the Enforcer and the Aquilar. And then in graphics, you get the GIMP, of course. Hey, what's a Linux distribution without the GIMP? You also get Gwenview, K Snapshot, and Aquilar in sound and video. You get Clementine, Caffeine, K-Mix, Loopy, Record, My Desktop. Hmm, really, not so much my favorite there. Uh, and it looks like there's a QA Record as well in this. Let's see what else they have here. You know, this menu, the way it's laid out, is kind of cool. I do like this. Uh, there are a number of tools that you can use. A desktop selector, your console, Crusader, K-Write. Uh, system settings, and this also comes with the Yaquake, which is a drop-down terminal emulator, much like what I have on my own desktop here. Right now, you just saw I have FFmpeg running from the command line. 
and that sort of thing. And then, of course, there are some games included with this through the DJL Game Manager. Now, for those of you who haven't seen the DJL Game Manager, it is an older program, but the nice thing about it is it lets you download all of these games to a single folder so that you can play them, and then you can easily install and uninstall those programs quite easily. And uh, so you have like a, a central location rather than having files spread out all over the system. But my experience with the DJL game client is, well, you know, some of the games worked and some of them didn't. But there is a huge list and it is my understanding that the list is uh, updated from time to time and that sort of thing. So very nice. Uh, let me click on the favorites here. And uh, let's have a look at what else you get. Now, this, of course, uses the Dolphin File Manager. Believe it or not, I actually use Dolphin for managing all of my photographs. I love its thumbnailing capabilities and that sort of thing. And uh, that's what I'm actually using on my system. You get the Chromium web browser. Okay, you can manage your software. There is a conversation for IRC. You get a media player, the K3B disk burning utility, which bar none is your best solution for burning disks in Linux. Okay, now Black Panther is using KDE version 4.6.2. Uh, this is not the latest version of KDE. Personally, I recommend getting a distribution that has the new KDE 4.8. I think it's a lot nicer, um, but to each their own. Uh, thank you, requesters, uh, for suggesting this. This is a nice-looking distribution, but it is a little bit older. Uh, I have uh, not seen any information as to when Black Panther will be releasing a new version, but uh, this is something that um, I would definitely like to look into once a new version releases. All in all, this does look like this is a fairly nice distribution uh, that you could use. On, but my, I would recommend that you use this on newer hardware, not older hardware, because KDE does tend to be a little resource heavy. If you thought this was useful, put a comment down below. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.